it's indeed a very joyous time. It's a very happy time for the fact that we are alive to see the end of the year and to see the beginning of another year. I don't think there is any joy that will surpass that. And so for God, we give glory and honor for seeing us through this year. This year in particular had been very, very bad year. Many challenges, poverty level on the increase, unemployment, and our teaming youths unable to fend for themselves. And so it's been a very, very difficult year. Uh, on our side, with God's help, we've been able to help in ameliorating the, 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 the problems and the challenges as we see them. We've tried to uh, give programs and activities that will ensure that poverty is curtailed to a reasonable extent. We introduced several initiatives and programs, particularly that has to do with training the youth. Um, our development programs are those that are sustainable because they have to be sustainable. I have always said that there is nothing as important as developing a youth Indeed, there is nothing as important as developing any human being, giving them skill, giving them opportunity to fend for themselves. In fact, the Bible puts it in a very wonderful way that we have to, God teaches us and we borrowed it uh, as, as children of God, that God taught the apostles and those around them how to fish as opposed to just giving them fishes to eat and so when you take it literally the the development programs does that it teaches us how to fend for ourselves it gives us skill because with your skill nobody can take that away from you you can be citizen of the world you can fend for yourself but most importantly, you will have source of revenue to look after your family. We've introduced programs like Egombido, where women who ordinarily are not doing anything can afford to give 50 naira, 100 naira to their children to take to school, restoring their self-esteem and making them important uh, as they should be and giving the youth skills that will equip them to, to combat with the challenge of the future. Because you can be a graduate, but if you don't have the requisite skill, you are an illiterate and cannot cope. And so we've prioritized, we've prioritized that. We've also done a lot on infrastructure. We've done many roads. We have made sure that literally every community has light and water and we will make sure that no community goes without having access to water or road that they can pass because it's important if we want to have a community that has bottom-up economic growth we have to give them access and that means road give them access to scale and make sure that everybody uh, is has skills that will be in tandem with that sort of growth. We've established um, farmers trust in our local government as the first phase. We're going to the west, Anambra West. From the west, we're going to Anambra East, Oyi, Anyamelu. Uh, these are the farming communities. The essence of this scheme is to make sure that every man or woman who has the intention of farming has access to this grant to plant their vegetable, the yam and the cassava because food security is number one. When you can fend for your family, if you can feed your family properly, every other thing becomes secondary. I mean, he said, by those who knows better than I do that once a man can feed his family he can listen to philosophy but unable to do that no philosophy 
make sense. Therefore, food security is number one and the other security comes in secondary. And so we are putting in these measures in place to make sure that our communities are adequately fed, uh, able to fend for themselves. The women can plant their vegetables, their yams, their okras in addition, all these crops. And these crops, don't forget that because we have fertile land, they will be able to do intercity trading with them. We are hoping that the next stage of this trust will be to have CBN work in collaboration with us so that the processing plants will come in to set in cottage industry and for us to now have cottage outlets in Anambra North. Anambra North is a, is a very wonderful, God-blessed uh, area. What we don't have is enhancement of what God has given to us. And so we're working towards that. We believe we've made progress and by God's grace, we are going to exceed our benchmark. I mean, so far, the CBN loan we're able to attract has exceeded 10,000 people. And we're going to continue. Next year, we want to see if we can exceed that number because we do need to have access to cheap funds, affordable funds, funds that attract single digit interest rates so that our people can cope with that hardship and with many, many other things. Um, I, I want to also say that the warehouse and the container terminal we are talking about is almost, almost concluded. So we can stop going to Lagos and all those faraway ports to bring in the goods for our markets. All those are the things we need to do to make our lives better. The, 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 the other one we are working towards also is artisans. We have so many unskilled labor. We have so many youth who are either not educated or not having requisite skill. So what we want to do is to make sure we improve on the artisan training we've done so far. This year alone, we are going to do 5,000, training them on plumbing, bricklaying, um, electrical house, electric, electricity and electrical. All these we want them to be able to not have to depend on government or anyone, but to be able to fend for themselves. And to God be the glory, we have uh, made remarkable progress and we will do more as we progress. Um, the details, real details of what we have been able to accomplish these past years and the one that we are still going to do will be in our scorecard. We are going to send it uh, online on Facebook so everybody will have access to that. And you can uh, score us. Uh, we'll be happy to hear your opinion. But above all, I want us to thank God for our lives. No matter how difficult our economy may have been, the fact that God has kept us alive, we must give him thanks. We must honor him. We must give him glory because he has kept us. And not only that, every day he keeps us alive. He gives us hope that things will be better. And indeed, things are getting better. And I want to wish every one of you a very, very happy new year. God's blessings and God's love to you and to your family. May God bless you, may God protect you, shield you, be with you and be for you. In Jesus' name I pray for you. This is from me and my family to you and your family. Happy New Year. Thank you very much. My name is Senator Stella Adeze Odua. I am the Senator representing Anambra North. Thank you very much.